Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is Renaissance Nerd, the show where we get nerdy about food. Eventually it'll be other stuff, but right now it's mostly just food. In this video, we're doing the roast beast itself, our homage to Dr. Seuss. We are doing some roast beast, and it, it's a pretty simple one this month, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I feel like people are really... Uh, afraid to do a big roast. It's honestly not that bad. It's actually pretty simple. So stick around. Let's do this. And this is super simple. First things first, we are putting this roast into the oven. Again, notice the extra bit of seasoning on top. You want to rub it all in really good with that prep but this is going into a 500 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then we drop that temperature down to 325 to finish, and then you can temp it out as much as you please. Uh, and, and this is what it should look like when you pull it. When you pull it out of the oven, you want to make sure that you let it rest, preferably on, on a cooling rack if you have one. I do not have one in my house, so I just let it rest on the pan. And it is also important that you tent it. Uh, for multiple reasons, you don't want bugs getting to it because, you know, if you live in an area like I do, you have fly issues all of the time and you don't want the flies getting to it. It also helps preserve some of the heat while you're letting that protein rest, while you're letting that meat rest. And here we go, we've got the two different sides of the aluminum foil. There's the shiny side and the dull side. Shiny side always goes in. It's theoretical, but I believe it. Uh, it's supposed to reflect more heat back into what you're uh, putting the foil on. Next we slice it. Slicing is pretty straightforward. You don't want to cut yourself. Be careful of the extra bits of fat like I just peeled back there. Also, if you got a bone on like I did, uh, you can... I did this for time's sake because I, it, it takes a lot longer to cut the bone off before you can cut the roast, but it is a little bit safer to cut the bone off first so that you don't have to fight with it like I did. So it's kind of a wash on time. I don't know why I didn't uh, cut that those bones off before I started doing the slicing. But uh, again, you're, you're dropping the temperature in the oven. You want to get it up to at least 125 degrees in the very center for a, a bottom end of mid-rare, right about a rare mid-rare is at 125. And if you want it more well than that, then you can uh, cook it a little bit longer. But that is your beautiful prime rib roast. And that, nerds, is your entree for this roast beast. Uh, all of the things coming together in perfect harmony is always so wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you enjoyed the food. And remember, patrons get the full and complete instructions. So if you want to support, if you want to get all of the instructions and not just the ingredients list, then check out patreon.com slash generally nerdy. There's also a website you can go to, generallynerdy.net. That is the place to go to get all of the freebies, all of the other freebies, I guess is more appropriate. All of the social media links, everything is up on the website, generallynerdy.net. There's plenty of other stuff up on the Patreon as well, so be sure you check it out. But before we go checking things out or clicking on buttons, because we got buttons right here to the left of my face, before we do any of that, guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here, and we're going to make some incredible food. <laughs>